I'm with Philip Lowe, CEO, Founder, Chairman of uh, NeuroVigil, also faculty at MIT and Stanford. Um, and we were just uh, heard about this Roche press release that this company announced. Wonder if you could tell us a little bit more about it. Sure, sure. Well, I cannot tell you more than what's in the press mm -hmm. release, but uh, I can tell you certainly what's in the press release. Um, we just announced uh, a, a nice commercial deal with uh, Swiss pharma giant Roche, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's a way for um, for both companies to really revolutionize um, what is going on right now in clinical trials. So usually what happens in clinical trials, especially for new pathologies, you put certain drugs in the patient and uh, you watch for an effect. And, um, and uh, if you put too much and you have a side effect, so then you reduce those a little bit. But your benchmark, your measure, is really you know, the, the change in behavior. Now, the clinical trials, the duration of those trials are you know, a couple of days and so on, and they are in a very artificial environment, the hospital. So what we're doing is we're taking this out of the hospital, letting people stay in their home. We have a technology to monitor the brain, and we're not waiting until there is going to be a cognitive change or a cognitive side effect. Um, we're going to see if the drug is affecting their brain as quickly as possible. <laughs> so it's possible that you know drugs have certain maturation times. It takes more time for a certain drug to have an effect. So instead of increasing the drug uh, and putting a, a, um, a person at risk, we can say, hang on, we just saw that this drug has an, has an effect on your brain. You may want to wait a few days to see if, if this is going to effect. So it's a way to make clinical trials faster, to um, have them at home, uh, and uh, to really monitor the patient's brain before there are any cognitive side effects. So there's very active monitoring of the, of that's the right. patient's brain. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. And we're using sleep in order to create a map of brain activity. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we see how this map changes when uh, people are taking those drugs. So would you, would you bring uh, patients in to determine their, I guess, their, their uh, brain baseline readings and then, and then just look at the changes after the medication? So, so, so we do this before and after okay. the okay. drug. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and we monitor them very, very, very carefully during the yeah. drug. Now, Roche is responsible for the patient. We're responsible for the technology. We're just helping them. Okay. And we're delighted that they took uh, a small true. California startup that just got its seed funding straight uh, and gave them a big, uh, I mean, a nice, a nice project to work for. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. On that. Thank you very much. Um, do, you, do you sense that Roche is uh, interested in, in this primarily because it's, it, it's, a, it's a time thing? It makes the trials more efficient or makes them more cost effective? Well, um, or a combination of both. I would say. I would say. It's difficult in the clinical trial when you're testing a drug on, um, for a neuropathology to necessarily have to rely on a bunch of psychiatrists. I see. So there is a quantitative so argument it's, it's there. Okay. Ac accuracy is certainly one of them. Uh, and throughput is another one. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you're going to have more patients who are willing to be part of a trial if they can stay with their families at home. Um, and um, it's, it's also you know, less costly if you just use one of our monitors than an entire hospital setup. So it's a combination of these. Great. Yeah, thanks for chatting. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you.